Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to yet another interesting tutorial on aggregate functions in SQL by Simply Code. In today's session, we learn what exactly are aggregate functions and how they are used in SQL. More on that soon. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us go through the agenda for today's session. We'll start the tutorial by understanding what is aggregate function and then we'll go through different types of aggregate functions in SQL. And finally, we'll discuss the syntax of each and every aggregate function and implement its execution part in the MySQL workbench. So without any further delay, let's dive straight into today's topic. Now we have Akash. Uh, who is basically from a non-technical background and wants to upskill his career as a business analyst and for that he is learning SQL. Now while learning these SQL concept, concepts, he is unable to understand the aggregate functions in SQL. So he turns up to his friend Rohan for help. Now Rohan is already a certified data analyst, uh, starts explaining him about the aggregate functions in SQL. The aggregate functions in SQL are used to perform calculations on multiple rows of single column and returns a single value. Now in SQL, each query delivers filtered results of groups of values as well as field values. Now SQL has these aggregate functions that can be used to summarize these enormous amount of data that is stored in the table. Now for an entire group or table, this function can generate a single value. They work with groups of rows and returns all the possible results based on these fields or columns. These aggregate functions are basically used with the uh, group by and having clause in the select statement. The group by clause basically divides the result set into groups of values and aggregate functions returns a single value for each groups. That means the group by basically identifies all the records that are present in a particular field or a column and combines them into a single set. Now that we have understood what are aggregate functions, let us go through the various aggregate functions that are present in SQL. Now in SQL, there are broadly five types of aggregate functions. They are count, sum, average, max, and minimum. Let us discuss about them in detail. Firstly, let us discuss about the count function. The SQL count function returns the number of rows in a table satisfying the criteria specified in the where clause. It sets the number of rows or non-null column values only. Let us look at the syntax. The syntax is followed as select count which is the keyword, column name from table name, where, condition, group by column and order by column. Next let us discuss about the sum function in SQL. The sum function returns the total summation of the value of a specified column value. Sum performs only on numeric columns only. Sum does not consider null values. It has optional arguments like all distinct. All keyword is used to take all the values in the specified column. Now if you specify distinct keyword, it will remove all the duplicate values or the redundant values. Let us look at the syntax. The syntax is followed as select sum column name from table name where condition group by column and order by column. Next let us look at the average function. The SQL average function calculates the average value of columns of numeric types. It returns the average of all null values. And the syntax is similar to that of count as well as the sum. Instead of the count and uh, the sum keyword, you have to replace it with the average keyword. And the syntax is followed as select average column name from table name where condition. You can also specify the group by and the order by function as per your requirement here as well. Next we have the max function. The SQL max function is used to find the maximum value or highest value of a certain column or expression. This function is useful to determine the largest of all the selected values of a column. And the syntax remains the same which is select max is the keyword we use here column name from table name. You can specify the condition as per your requirement using the where clause and you can use the group by function as well. And finally, that brings us to the minimum function, which is opposite to that of maximum function and the aggregate SQL minimum function is used to find the minimum value or the lowest value of a column or an expression. This function is useful to determine the smallest of all the selected values of a particular column or a field. 
and the syntax remains the same again instead of uh, in, instead of max you have to use the minimum keyword here and the syntax is followed as select minimum column name from table name where condition and group by condition as well so now that we've understood all these different types of aggregate functions let us jump into mysql workbench for execution part as you can see, MySQL Workbench has started and on the home page to the left side, we have the SimpliCode database which has various tables such as customer, department, employee, orders and etc. Now as far as the SQL aggregate functions are concerned, we, we are going to use the restaurant orders table here. So let me just display the records that are present in this table. For that, I'm going to use the select statement. Select star from table name that is restaurant orders. So as you can see, the table has various columns such as order ID, order date, item name, quantity and price. By the way, guys, I've taken this data set from Kaggle. So if you want to work on the same data set, we'll leave the link in the description below. So you make sure you check this out. So firstly, let us discuss about the count function here. So if I want to count the total number of records that are present in this table, I'll use the count statement here as the following qu query would be select count use the asterisk operator because we want to display all the records from the table that is restaurant orders so let me just execute this statement and see the out so as you can see there are a total of 307 records that are present in this table let's take another example now let's say if i want to find the total customers that are present in this table so for that i'll use the order id as the reference that's because now if you consider uh, for any customer will get a different order ID when he places an order, right? So for that, I'll use the order ID. So the following query would be select count. Now I'll use the distinct operator here so that we'll have the unique values. Order ID from the table that is restaurant orders. So let me just execute the statement and we'll see the output. So as you can see, there are a total of 48 customers that are present in the table who have placed orders on various items. Now let's take another example. Let's say if I want to find the total number of orders of each item that is present in the table, then the following query would be select, take the column name that is item name. Now I want to count all the records that are present so i'm taking the count operator from table name that is restaurant orders now i want to group all the identical values that are present for each of the orders that are present so i'll take the group by function here item name and similarly i'm using order by so that i want to display the orders in their alphabetical order so item name. So let me just execute the statement and see the output. So as you can see, it will display the total number of records that are present on each of the item that the order has been placed. Now we have a total of, uh, let's say four records of Alu Gobi and eight records of Bombay Alu and so on and etc. So let me just uh, verify the statement and see uh, if the condition that is executed is true or not. So I'll use the select statement, select star from restaurant orders where item name equals to, uh, we'll see the uh, records of Bombay Alu. So let me just copy this field and see the output. So as you can see, uh, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So clearly we have a total of eight records. That means our count function has been successfully executed. So in this way, you can use the count function in SQL. You can also use the where condition here as per your requirement. Let's say if I want to uh, display the list of all the items and the total number of orders of each and every item, whose price is uh, less than $3. And for that, I'll use the where statement. So this syntax remains same. I will just use the where condition here, where price of the item, mention the column, is less than 
So let's just execute the statement and see the output. So it will display all those records who's having uh, the price less than $3. So let's just verify, for example, uh, we'll take the garlic naan here as our example. And uh, let's see if this condition is satisfied or not. Let me just copy this field and I'll paste it here. And let us execute the statement and see the output. So as you can see that we had four records of garlic naan and uh, it is being presented here and its price is also 2.95, which is less than three. Let us now discuss about the minimum as well as the maximum function in uh, aggregate functions. Now let us take an example for that. Let's say if I want to find uh, those items which is having the least amount of price. So for that, the following query would be select, minimum is the keyword and within the brackets mention the column that is price, from the table that is restaurant orders. So let us select the statement and see the output. So as you can see, the minimum price of the uh, item in the table is 0 0.5. So let us take another example here. Now let's say if I want to find all those items uh, in the restaurant order table, which is having the cheapest price. So for that, I'll use the query as select display the item name and its price from the table that is restaurant orders where price equals to now we'll write a subquery here using uh, the minimum statement where select minimum price from the table that is restaurant orders so let me just execute the statement and see the output so it will display all the records uh, in the restaurant order table and the item details which is having the least or the cheapest price for example mango chutney onion chutney mint sauce and red sauce is having the least price that is 0.5 now we can see there are duplicate values in our resultant table. So I'll just take the distinct keyword so that it will terminate all the uh, redundant values in the resultant table. So let me just execute the statement. So as you can see, these are the four uh, items which is having the least price. Now similarly, you can find the maximum uh, price of the order or the item that is present in the uh, restaurant order table. For that, I'll use the max keyword here. So let me just execute the statement and see the output. So these are the three items uh, which is having the maximum or the highest price in our table. That is Tandoori King uh, Prawn Masala, King Prawn Balti and King Prawn Shashlik, which is having the price 12.95, which is the highest. So in this way, you can use the maximum and the minimum function to find out the highest and the lowest value that is present in your table. Let us now discuss about the sum function in aggregate functions. Now basically the sum function is used to calculate the total sum of all the records that are present in a particular column. Let's take an example. Let's say if I want to find the total amount that the restaurant has received on a single day, then the following query would be select sum now, if you look at the orders table, uh, we have different quantities for each uh, item, right? So the price will, uh, so the price will be basically price into quantity. That will be the total uh, value of the item. So I'll take select some price into quantity from table that is restaurant orders. So we have Q capital in the uh, record. So we'll take as Q as capital. So let me just execute the statement and see the output. Uh, so there's a uh, spelling mistake here. Let me just correct that and let us see the output now. So as you can see, it will uh, show me the uh, total sum of all the items uh, that were placed on that particular day. And the value is $1689.9. Now you can name the column as per your wish as well. So I'll just take it as uh, total amount. So as 
so in this way you can use the uh, sum function as well let us now discuss about the average function now average function is also similar to that of sum but basically it calculates the average of all the items or the records that are present in the table now let's say if i want to find the average price of all the items that are present in our restaurant orders table then our following query would be select average price from restaurant table so let us see the output so as you can see the average price of all the items that are present is 5.04 dollars so in this way you can use the average function as well let's take another scenario for average price where we'll use the where condition let's say if i want to display all those items that are having price above the average price of all the items that are present in the table then the following query would be select i want to display the item name so i'll take the item name column their price from the table that is restaurant where price is greater than i'll write a sub query select average price from the table that is restaurant orders so let me just execute this statement and see the output so basically these are all the items which are having price more than uh, our average price that we have calculated earlier that is 5.09 so in this way you can use the where condition as well up, uh, as per your requirement but there's a point to be noted here that the average and the sum function basically calculates only those fields which is having numerical values whereas the count uh, minimum and maximum function can uh, calculate the values of various data types such as character string as well as the numerical values so that was all about the uh, sql aggregate function guys i hope you understood uh, the syntax and the examples that we have uh, discussed today thank you for watching the video guys i hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve help all your queries at the earliest until next time stay safe and keep coding